Okay, Poisson distribution as an approximation to the binomial. So we might want to do this, um, if it fits, it's much easier to work out um, probabilities on a Poisson distribution. The calculation is easier than doing binomial. So if uh, X follows a binomial distribution with parameters N and P, remember N is the number of trials and P is the probability of success. And we also have that N is large enough, um, N bigger than 50, and N times P is small, less than five, then we can approximate it using a Poisson distribution where the parameter is NP. Remember, we need lambda in the middle there. Lambda is just the average, the mean, and to work out the mean from a binomial distribution, you do N times P. So this is as long as um, N is big enough and P is small enough, but the bigger you have N and the smaller you have P, the better the approximation works. Okay, so here's an example. Let's just do a little check. N is bigger than 50, and NP is 2, so that is less than 5. So this works as a, um, we can approximate this as a Poisson distribution. So X is going to follow a Poisson distribution with um, where lambda is 2, NP equals 2. Now we want to work out the probability that X is less than 3. That's the same as the probability that X equals 0, 1, or 2. So work out each of those, and you get your final answer. So that was much faster and easier than doing it by the binomial distribution, and that's the reason you would use it. Next one, 2% of Westlake students drive themselves to school. X is the number of students who drive themselves to school in a sample of N students, where the expectation of X equals 5. We want to find N. So X follows a binomial distribution. Uh, we've got n trials and probability of success is 0.02. To work out e of x, you would do n times 0.02. And we're told that that is equal to 5. So now we can work out that n must be 250. Then using a suitable approximation, we're going to calculate the approximate probability that a sample of 80 students would contain at least one student who drove themselves. So X follows a binomial distribution with a sample size of 80 and probability of success is 0.02. Now NP is equal to 1.6. Now we have a sample size that is bigger than uh, 50 and NP is less than 5. So we can go ahead with a Poisson distribution. And then we work out the probability that X is greater than or equal to 1, so at least one student, um, which is the same as 1 minus the probability that X equals 0. And we can go ahead and calculate that. Okay, the probability that a goldfish lives for more than six months is 0.98. A pet shop sold 160 goldfish last year. Using a suitable approximation, we're going to find the probability that more than 158 of the goldfish lived for more than six months. So if we let X be the number of goldfish that lived for more than six months, then X follows a binomial distribution with um, a sample size of 160, and the probability of success is 0 0.98. Now, if we try out our parameters, we do get um, N being larger than 50, but NP is 156.8, which is obviously far too big. It's not um, less than 5, as is required for a Poisson distribution. So instead, we consider it in its opposite form. So think about Y being the number of goldfish that did not live more than six months. And then we can do something with that. So Y is a binomial distribution where you've got 160 trials. This time, the probability of success, as in the probability they didn't live more than six months, is 0 0.02, just 1 minus 0 0.98. So now, N is bigger than 50 and NP is less than 5, so this one works for a Poisson approximation. So Y can be approximated with a Poisson distribution uh, with parameter 3.2. Now we're going to work out the probability that X is greater than 150. That's the same as the probability of Y being less than or equal to 1, as in you want more than 158 of the fish to have survived more than six months, so that's either 159 or 160 of them, meaning either none or one died. So that's the probability that y is less than or equal to one. So this is probability that y equals zero plus the probability that y equals one. And we pop that in to find out our probability. <laughs>